Hey guys, it's uh, attorney Anthony Bandero here bringing you the roadside chat. This question comes from uh, an officer in Texas and basically the officer is asking, can a parent give consent to search an adult child's room? Now, actually it's not technically the parent here, but I'm gonna use the word parent because that's really the same rules are gonna fall under here. But let me, um, let me give you some context here. The officer talks about you know, in here is actually a grandmother. So it looks like the ba the grandmother is essentially the guardian of this of, of the grandson. Okay, the, the grandson is 19 years old. Um, again, I, I, I'm, I'm making a very generic title so that people understand that the rules are going to be the same. But uh, here in this case, it's grandmother, grandson. The 19 year old does not pay rent and the grandmother owns the residence. So basically, grandma called and stated that her grandson had narcotics and a gun in his room. The officers arrived and she gave consent and they went into his room. He was not present. And the officer searched the room, including the grandson's backpack that was in the room. And that's where they found narcotics. So the first question is, can the officers get consent from the grandmother under these circumstances? Well, this is not a lot of facts here, but probably the answer is probably yes. This throws a lot of cops off. They think, oh, once they, once the person, the son here, let's say the son, right? The rules are the same. Once the son becomes an adult, then, or the child becomes an adult, then they, the, uh, the, the parents cannot consent to search the room, right? And generally speaking, um, that can be true, but it's not automatically true. Let me give you a quote. So this is a case involving searching an adult an adult room, uh, an adult's adult child's room, right? Decisions from our state have generally aligned with the overwhelming, overwhelming majority of jurisdictions in holding that a parent has the right to consent to search of the property of his or her son or daughter. Okay, that's the baseline. In assessing the objective reasonableness in, the, in a circumstance involving an adult child living with the parents, the panel discussed factors to consider when determining whether a child has exclusive possession of his or her room, such as whether the child pays rent, whether the parent has access to the child's room for cleaning or other such general access purposes, and whether the child has the right to lock the door and deny access. Ultimately, the question remains one of objective reasonableness based on the totality of the circumstances. That is State versus Coles out of New Jersey, uh, 2014. All right. So, look, more facts are needed here, but I'm leaning towards yes in this case, because first of all, uh, it seems to me that grandma probably already found the drugs and gun. And probably found it, I'm assuming here, making assumptions, but, you, you know, the officer can correct me if I'm wrong. But the, the, the grandma maybe was actually in the room anyway. And how was that grandmother in the room? Was the grandmother in the room because generally she has access to that room? She helps clean it up. She, you know, goes in there and wakes the, the grandson up to go to work if he has a job. Probably doesn't. Um, so that's the kind of things we're looking for, right? Also, the officer told me that he does not pay rent. Which is, which is a significant factor. So the way I look at these is this. Is the relationship between grandma and grandson more, does it look more like a parent-child relationship? Grandma's taking care of him, mentoring him, you know, uh, requiring him to do stuff. It's her house under my roof. Or is it more like a landlord-tenant relationship? If it's more like a landlord tenant relationship because he pays rent or the grandma acknowledges like, yeah, he can keep me out. I don't really go in that room unless I have permission or if he tells me I don't feel like I can go in that room, then the cops should be out. OK, so here's the first thing. So even if we get into the room because it looks more like a parent child relationship. We have a problem with that backpack because would. A reasonable officer believe that the grandmother has that level of access to his personal belongings. It's one thing to get into the room. It's one thing to look under the bed. 
it's one thing to maybe look through a sock drawer because again, like he or she puts away clothes for him. But it's another thing to go into a backpack. And I think that's outside the bounds of what's called common authority, right? Which is what's, I don't think it's reasonable to believe that grandma has that level of access to all his belongings. We're again, we're looking at the big stuff. Getting into the room is probably one issue and stuff in plain view, I think is coming in. But getting into that backpack to me is problematic. All right. The officer also says, can a landlord give consent for a tenant space? The answer is no, 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 absolutely not. Absolutely not. That's a, that's a big no. For, first of all, they don't have common authority, right? Just because they own the space doesn't mean they actually have that level of, of authority. I mean, if you uh, rent an apartment, you lease an apartment, Clearly, you don't own that apartment. You're you're um, uh, a leasee, but can the can the landlord, the property manager, let you know let people into your your apartment? The answer is no. The other thing is it's also no because the person living in that space, whether it's a room for rent, whether it's a, an apartment, they um, have not given up their expectation of privacy as to the police entering the room. They may think, you might think to yourself, but Anthony, the landlord can enter because of maintenance issues and emergencies and so forth. And the answer is, okay, that is something different. Sure. I mean, that could probably be contractual or it's, it's a, at the end of the day, it's a private issue. But the one thing that that tenant has not signed off on is for the landlord to not just let the plumber in because there's a water leak, but to let the police in and snoop around. Not permitted. So that was a pretty easy one. Guys, I hope it helps. If I've moved the ball forward even an inch, like, subscribe, comment. I hope I've helped you get it right every single time, right? See you next time. When it comes to law enforcement training, we are the gold standard. Visit bluetogold.com or call 888-579-7796 to learn more about our training, books, and free webinars. Also, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this channel.